okay so in the last video we have seen the eigers theorem we have proved the eigers theorem we have also explain how to apply the eigers theorem by giving one example by taking one example right so now we will solve the number of problems on the eigers theorem okay so if u is equal to if u is equal to sin inverse of x by y plus tan inverse of x by y tan inverse of x by y find find x tau y y plus y tau y tau y now see this expression right this expression is just like an applicable application of the application of the inverse theorem okay now check whether the inverse theorem is applicable or not if the inverse theorem is applicable then this part will be very easy now okay now solution given that solution given that right now we will check by observation now what if you replace x by x and y is equal to t by y whether it will take t to the power whatever this common or not <coughs> see what happens if you put here t x t y your t get cancelled Here also t x t y, your t get cancelled. So that means what? Here what? No, no t remains. That means what? T is to zero is the common form, right? That means u is a homogeneous solution of a to zero solution. Even that, even that, this is very easy problem. Okay? So u is homogeneous.
degree. The degree is very important. Of degree. So what is degree then? Here what? From numerator there is t cube power. From denominator there is t power. t cube power t is what? t square. So degree is what? 2. Degree is what? Now you are standard is homogeneous. Instead of cube you have to write a u now. Okay? So therefore y. Therefore y. U does tell. Y. U does tell. So x. So y goes to tan u. Right? X to y goes. So u is what to tan u plus y. So y to y of tan u is equal to two times tan u. Right? Y plus y. Right? X to y goes plus y to y to y is equal to n tan u. N is the degree of the homogeneous function. Okay? So now we differentiate this tan of something. Tan of something is what? Sex square something into delta of something. So this is what x into sex square u into two y by c. Two by two by two. That is two by two. Plus y sex square u two y by two y by two. Tan of something is what? Sex square something into delta of something. Right? Is equal to two tan u. Two tan u. Now we shift sex square to that side. What happens then? What happens then? So sex square to that side. So x two y by two x plus y two y by two y is equal to two. I can write tan u as sin u upon cos u. Is two one upon sex square u upon because sex square you have shifted to that side. But sex square u means that one upon sex square means that cos square u. So this is what two into sin u. Upon cos u into cos square u. Now one cos get cancelled. So this is what two sin u cos u. But two sin u cos u is nothing but a formula for sin u. And that we want. That we want. Okay. So so it is zero. If u is equal to if u is equal to log of Log of k, then base is not equal. X raised to four, y raised to four, upon x plus y. Then show that this is equal to three. Show that this is equal to three. <coughs> okay. On the same page, we will do the solution. Given that, given that, you will now see here. What you want to do? X two by x plus y two by y is this problem may be asked for three mark or uh, two one mark two mark, right? So for one and two mark, the answer should be between the three or four lines, right? So don't find two by two two by two if the problem is for two or one or two mark. Okay? So try to apply the Euler's theorem now because this is just like an x two by x plus y two by two is the application of the Euler's theorem, right? Try to apply the Euler's theorem. Don't do the manual. Yes. Okay. So now here what u is equal to. If you put x x as p x y as p y, what happens is p raised to four y as x raised to four p raised to four. That means p square common from the numerator. Now t common from the denominator. This p p to the power four upon t is a t cube. But log is there. You cannot take t here now. If you take t raised to three here, then it will be homogeneous. But for the log, you cannot take it. Now at this stage. U is not homogeneous, <coughs> but whatever this this part is homogeneous. That means what? We will shift log to this side. That means we will get the exponential on both sides. So what we do? So therefore, we put exponential in front. If base is ten, then write ten as three. If your base is three, then write three as three. So this is what? X is the four plus y is the four upon x plus y. Right? Now, e is to u will be the homogeneous function of the big three. So e raised to u is a homogeneous function of degree of degree three. Therefore, by Euler's theorem, by Euler's theorem, x no y raised to e raised to u plus y. So 
y to y of e raised to u is equal to degree what three. So three e raised to u. Now differentiate e raised to u partial to the to x and partial to the to y. So x derivative of e raised to u e raised to u into derivative of u. So do y do y e raised to something. Right? Derivative of e raised to x is x, but e raised to something is what? Derivative of e raised to something is what? E raised to something into derivative of something. Right? So this is y e raised to u do y do y three e raised to u. So e raised to u is contains each term which is not zero. You can cancel this. So this is what x do y do x plus y do y do y e is equal to three. So that is one. Okay. So the problem is over. Next. You do is equal to sine inverse of x plus y upon root x plus root y. Show that. Show that x square do to u y do x square plus y x square do to u y do y square do x do y. Do x do y plus y square do to u y do y square is equal to minus sine u cos twice u upon four cos square u. Okay. So we prove this one. We have to prove this. Now see, this is the application of the Euler's theorem. See, this is corollary of the Euler's theorem. That means what? So to apply the Euler's theorem, you must be the homogeneous function. Right? Now we we'll check whether you are the homogeneous function. Now at this stage you are not homogeneous function. But if you put sine in one, if the sine is here, now we get the sine on both sides. Now this is the homogeneous function, right? Because see, degree of each term is same. If degree of the each term is same from the numerator and denominator, then degree of each term also, right? So for the numerator, degree of each term is same. Degree of for the denominator, degree of each term is same, right? For the numerator, degree of each term is same. For the denominator, degree of each term is same. That is the Homogeneous function. I have to find a degree. Just write the degree of the uh, uh, degree of the numerator minus degree of the denominator. So this is one one minus half. One minus half is half now. So this, if you put sine here, that means what? Sine is the homogeneous function of degree half now. Okay. So sine x plus y upon root x plus root y. Now if you put x is equal to x and y. So t from numerator and t raised to half from So that is what root t, right? So root t is what t raised to half. So t of what t raised to half. So that is what one minus t raised to one minus half. And one minus half is full minus half. It's half now. So this will be half, right? So this will be half. That is your sine root is the homogeneous function of the root half. So sine root is a homogeneous function. Of degree one half. Therefore, by Euler's theorem, by Euler's theorem, x x do y do x of sine u plus y do y do u do y do y of sine u degree is what half. So half is what sine. We differentiate this. So x derivative of sine u cos u into do y by x plus y derivative of sine u cos u into do y by do y is equal to one half sine u. So shift the cos u to that side. What do we get? So I will write here. I will write here. What? X shift that. So do y by x plus y do y by do y. Is equal to two sine u upon cos u. Sine u upon cos u is tan u. So this is two tan u. Two tan u. Cos is equal to one. Okay. Now, how to prove the corollary of the Euler's theorem? Right. On the same way, we are doing this. So what we did is we have differentiated this partial to the x multiplied by x. I then what differentiate partial to the x multiplied by y. Right. And take that as you get the equation. Okay. So 
here. Here. See, this is our part. This is our part. This part is here now. Only way to change these two parts, right? Okay, so with right of angle, we say 2 by x plus y over by from 1. So from 1, this is 1, 2 tan. This is 2 tan. Just we'll write this 2 tan. Okay, so this is x square. So 2 u by 2 x square plus 2 x square. So 2 u by 2 x to 1. Plus y square. So 2 u by 2 y square. I shift that side. Okay, so 2 x square u into this is what? Tan u. This is 2 tan u. 2 tan u. Minus 2 tan u. 2 tan u. This is what 2 tan u. By the way, 2 tan u. Okay. Now. Okay. So this is what? 4. Sex square u. Tan u. So instead of that. I will take 2 tan u common. I will take 2 tan u common. 2 tan u common. And this is what? Sex square u minus 1. Sex square minus 1. I can write this, uh, this is in terms of sin and cos. 2 sin u upon cos u. Okay? I can write this sex square u as 1 upon cos square u minus 1. Now see, you get a sign. Okay? So this is what? 2 sin u. Cos twice u, cos square u, you get this. So here what two? Here what? Two tan in common. So this is two of one, okay? Two of one cos square u. Two of one cos square u. So I can write this word sin u upon cos u value okay, into 2 minus cos square u upon cos square u. Cos square u. Okay. Now Now, this is 1 minus 2 cos square u. 
we have the formula for 2 cos cube minus 1. Okay, we we'll take the minus sign common. Minus sign common. Okay. So this is what 2 sin u sin u. So there should be cos 2. There should be cos 2. So let's say this is cos 2. Cos 2. Okay. So sin u avoids cos 2. Is to what 2 cos by u 2 cos by u minus 1 upon 2 cos by u 2 cos by u so this is half ok now 2 cos by u is what cos by u so minus sin 2 cos by u upon so 2 into 2 is 4 so this is cos by u just replace this word cos by u ok so we have this ok so so we have to take the care of this one. Here we have to take the care. We, here we have made a mistake. Okay. So just uh, check that one. You place this everywhere. This is half. Right. So all other things are um, correct. Okay. So we take one more problem. We take one more problem. Okay. It's very important x f of x y y plus g y by x then you show that then you show that then you show that x square to 2 z by to x square plus twice x y to 2 z by do x to y plus y square to 2 z y do y square is equal to 0 is equal to 0 ok solution let z is equal to x above x by y ok given that given that x above x y plus z y by x let now see your z is not a homogeneous function because of this x if x will be there or y will be there it will be the homogeneous function so why not here here should be what x or y right if x is here also or y is here also then it will be the homogeneous function right but right now this is not homogeneous but this is homogeneous this x is the homogeneous function of any one now z of y by x is homogeneous function of degree 0 now, right? So this is the sum of two homogeneous functions of a different degree. This is the homogeneous function of degree 1, this is the homogeneous function of degree 0. This is sum of two homogeneous functions of a different degree. So we write u, u is equal to x, f of x by y. And we write b as g of y by x. Okay? So therefore, z is equal to u plus b. Now, do z by do x is same as do y by x plus do y. That is what you have seen Do z by do x is same as what? Do y by do x plus do b by do x. That is what? Do y do x of u plus b. Here what is that is? Here we can write as u plus b. Here I have u plus b. u plus b. Right? Okay. So here what? So u is a homogeneous. Function of degree of degree 1. Therefore, x square do 2 u by do x square plus twice x square do 2 u by do x do y do x do y plus y square do 2 u by do y square is equal to what? 1 n into n minus 1 times z. So your work n is 1, so this is 0. We call this as 1. This is 0. This is for your calculations. This is what n into n minus 1. Zero. Don't need to write actually n into n minus 1. Zero. Right? Okay. So, so this is what just write this one for our understanding. Now your b is also homogeneous function. B is a homogeneous function of B. Zero. Therefore, x square do 2 b by 
दो एक्स प्लस प्लस वाई से स्क्वायर दो सो बी वाई दो एक्स दो वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वायर दो सो बी वाई दो वाई स्क्वायर ई जी को तो जीरो डाइट इन डी लाइट क्योंकि क्या नहीं तो क्या नहीं जीरो क्यों नहीं की जीरो कोई बात नहीं सच में ओके सुना वन प्लस टू बी उस वन प्लस टू बी उस वन प्लस टू बी व्हाट एक्स स्क्वायर दो टू यू वाई दो सौ बाई वाई स्क्वायर आई टाइम की आई इसको यू प्लस बी प्लस वाई से एक्स वाई दो सौ बाई दो एक्स दो वाई यू प्लस बी प्लस वाई स्क्वायर दो सौ बाई दो वाई स्क्वायर यू प्लस बी की जी पर व्हाट जीरो की जी पर जीरो सो देख लो व्हाट एक्स स्क्वायर दो सौ चार बाई दो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई से एक्स वाई दो टू चेंज बाय दो एक्स दो बाय प्लस बाय स्क्वायर दो टू चेंज बाय दो बाय स्क्वायर इस टू यू एंड वे आर टू ओके सो आई होप दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन ओके सो नाउ वी स्टॉप हियर